Hey guys, once again, welcome back to Automate with Rakesh. In this video, I have prepared few questions which are very important for your exam. So you will first review yourself. Are you capable of understanding the question? And are you able to decide which is the right option when it comes to link query under your advanced data manipulation section? OK, so let's see one of the question. This question is again an inspiration from the UiPath Academy that we have. If you go through the practice test, you would see this kind of a question. So here there are a lot of learnings. If you just solve this particular question. So let's read the question. How can you retrieve the quantity value for the second occurrence of the item mango? So here is your table. And it is talking about second occurrences of occurrence of the item mango. So here in the table here in the third there is a mango and in this one the seventh row contains a mango. So it is talking about the second occurrence of the item mango from the data table in UiPath using link. So what is the right query? Remember when it comes to link. What happens is you can write to retrieve something you can write in multiple different ways. Nobody will say this is the only way you can write in link. You can write in multiple different ways to achieve the same thing. So let me show you some of the options. The very first option dt as enumerable where function x x dot item dot to string equals to mango and here it is pulling is it a right syntax or not second option where dt function x field of string mango dot first quantity dot to string third option dt dot select now the question comes can i select something or can i filter something using select or every time i have to use only dot where like here like this right dot where so is it also or could be a right answer D DT as enumerable where function X uh, here it is saying element at so element at using element at can we do it? So the question is pretty simple. You have to pull this particular value. So single value you have to pull now out of this four options, which is the right option? Now, how do you come to a state so that in the exam when such questions are coming, you know which is the right one? For this, you have to do a bit of practice on your UAPA Studio. So let's move on to UAPA Studio and start experimenting on all this code. All right. So on the UAPA Studio, the very first thing I'm what I'm going to do, I'm going to pass this entire question on the description of the video. You can copy this entire question and start practicing yourself. Now let's get started and learn together. The very first thing, this is the query or this is the syntax been written. I'll go to Yapa Studio and in my Yapa Studio, I have created a simple Excel file. Pretty simple apple, orange, mango, pear, right? I've created the simple Excel file. You can also create it. And then I'm simply reading this file using the Excel process scope, use Excel file. And inside that I've kept a read range activity and it is passing the value to DT. Pretty simple. This you can design it on your own. Okay, so let me minimize this. OK, so everything is minimized. Now let's see what to do. The very first thing we will get a assign activity. OK. Hit enter and here let us copy paste from the notepad. The very first thing I'm going to explain this entire syntax here. So this in the previous video you have learned how the dot where works. Right. So DT as enumerable which converts the data table to data rows. After that, you are writing dot where the main purpose of dot where is to filter. And here you are creating a lambda function and then you are using that X item from the lambda function to iterate through the item column. So here is your item column. So it will iterate through one by one. And then you are writing while you are iterating, you check if that value is equals to mango. So here we have written X item dot two string dot equals to mango now in link query everything that is written you should be able to frame an understanding that is where you will be able to choose the right answer so here our understanding is pretty clear until here what exactly it is doing it is filtering out and to check the in the item column which value contains mango now if you compare here the very first thing will come here 
it will find mango is a present then again if it goes there are two output here there are two data rows this is one output this is also one output now i need the second occurrence so the output would come in the collection kind of a thing right the first item and the second data row the first data row and the second data row remember in a collection the very first thing is considered as a zeroth index and the second one will consider as one if there is a third occurrence it will consider as two zero one two that is the index number so using this index number if you see what they have written you give me the first that means this first the zeroth occurrence zeroth index and the first index you give me the first index that means the second occurrence what you give me you give me only the quantity columns value now let me run this let me first run this and show you for example if i am going to write zero i am going to change it to zero first to show you what output comes okay we have not declared variables let me first declare the variable so here let me create a variable called op and by default it is a string and we are trying to pull a string output and here let's add a log message okay and simply print the output done now let us run what would happen the syntax that we have written it is going to check this excel file and out of this excel file what it will found if you look at it found the zeroth element in the quantity field that is 5 if you compare this it has found this data row because we have written in parenthesis 0 give me the quantity value it has given me 5 now let's go back see all these experiments are important now you go back and simply change this as per our question our question is having one right so if you put one you understood it is going to pull the second occurrence so this is your right answer okay if i save it and try to run this okay now look at my output panel it gave me 20 that means this is my right answer the right answer was 20 so it gave me the right answer so here the if you want two three four four five and six okay all right so here you can see i got the output so in this question the right answer is this however we should not stop here because any kind of question can be framed we need to understand why the second one is really wrong right we have to have that understanding that will help us to understand what is wrong and what is right why this is wrong now let's see this let me copy this go back and here the same thing i am going to change this and i'm going to apply the second syntax so in the second syntax what is written everything he, until here is same after that the last time how we have written we have written if you compare it we have written one and then written quantity dot two string so here until here the output is pretty simple it is giving a collection of data rows and there are two data rows as a result it is coming after that we are writing something to get what we need so here i am writing give me one and in that in the quantity field whatever is there you give me that in the second syntax if i go back to the studio let me explain here in the second syntax what happening here i am writing okay you give me the first element so the first element means it is saying you give me this and in that there are three different columns you give me the value of quantity for that how i have written you give me the first data row and in that you give me the quantity value and convert that to two string so that means in this syntax the output will be what five so let us run and see save it run this okay you can see if i go back to the output the output is five understanding so here we understood why our second thing is wrong just because it is written first this b is wrong okay now let's understand this one why this is wrong and here they are using they are not using dot where method they are using a dot select now you have a question now rakesh can i filter using dot select the answer is yes you can filter using dot select 
you have seen in the previous examples where dot select was used to multiply x into x something like that i'm going to talk on the dot select method in my upcoming video but right now you see using dot select you can also filter the syntax is nothing wrong with the syntax in terms of syntax is everything is fine just that because here we have written zero quantity dot to string because i have written zero it is pulling me this value right zero means the very first index zeroth index in that quantity so it, it, output of this is zero so here i am saying item is equals to mango this is pretty simple to write right here i am saying dt dot select so data table here i am directly applying the select method on the data table without converting into uh, you know enumerable and all that so i am saying dt dot select and i am saying item is equals to mango so directly i am applying this select method on the data table so here item is a column name and here is a mango you can see mango so here how it is written item starts with a double quote and ends here and inside that the value is written in single quote here no nothing wrong with the syntax i am telling you only problem here is they have written zero if they write one this also can fetch the value let me show you if i run this because they have written zero the output will come as five okay you can see it the output has come as five now if it is slightly changed to one and then if you save it now see you are learning so many things right lot of these things are required so that you select the right answer all the time so let me run it okay now if you see the value 20 has appeared look at it so if it was one then it could have been a, could have been a right answer as well okay okay now let's see our uh, next option okay next thing that is given copy this and let's write this now let's understand this particular syntax now in this syntax what is happening dot where function everything okay here the only changes we can write this x in two different ways one is you can write x in bracket item dot to string which is a pretty simple way or else you can also write x dot field of string provide the column name. this is just a two different formats if you compare the previous one here we have written x item dot to string the same thing can be written x field of string and item okay both the things are same nothing wrong with this all right now your syntax is correct don't think the syntax is wrong so i should not select it the syntax is actually right and here i am saying item equals to mango so the condition is exactly right which is going to return you collection of enumerable data rows or collection of data rows now here i am using another method called element at zero that means again it is presenting it to the first output which is this one right it is pointing out to this one when you write element at zero if i write element at one it is going to give me the same value and then quantity dot to string let me run this you will see it is going to give me the output five okay now this also could have been a right option if the value here should have been one so this is also another learning you can do it element at even dot select can work right so all this different different options you have learned right element at at one or you don't write element at simply saying one dot quantity also a right option okay so save it and run this now if i write one then this could have been a right answer it is pulling 20. now let's come back to the question once again now look at it here this is giving me the second occurrence value of item mango okay how can you take the quantity value so it, this is the second occurrence of mango it is pulling so this is the right answer <coughs> this one is just wrong because you have written first so it is pulling the first element that's why it is wrong this is also correct because here it is written zeroth index that's why it is wrong this syntax is also correct because here it is written uh, written element at zero so here we have not written element at simply we have provided the so element at you can write or you can ignore you can this the first one this is pulling the right answer so here it is written element at zero 
If it would have been one, this could have been the right answer because it is zero, it is wrong. So now you know why out of this four, which are the things wrong and which is the right. So if this is your mindset, then you are at a right place to select the right answer. I hope this would have added you know, a lot of knowledge around selecting the right answer. If so, please do comment and let me know in the video. So let's move on to our next video. Thank you for watching. Please do give it a like and do subscribe to the channel in case you have not done it already. Thank you guys. Let's meet in our next video.